Hey there, it's Tuesday morning, and I thought I would make a quick video talking about one specific thing. And I'm not going to waste any time, I'm going to get right into it. I'm taking apart the um, cart that I had my belt disc sander on, uh, the one that was on wheels. And I'm trying to salvage the wood. You know, it's plywood, half inch plywood. The pieces aren't huge, but you know, you can always use stuff like that. Problem is, I put it together with glue, this stuff, and inch and a quarter uh, nails, 18 gauge brads. Okay, so I want to get those nails out without breaking them off. And if you've ever done that, you have to do it to know. You'll know that as soon as you touch those with the pliers to take them out, they snap off. And the way to make that so that doesn't happen is all you need to do usually is just lightly, fairly lightly tap on them a few times with your pliers. Don't use a hammer, not on a nail this small. Just tap lightly and then it should, it should pull right out. Okay, I learned this when I was a kid actually. I was out uh, pulling apart, well, I was pulling nails out of uh, two by fours that had the nails, and these were like two and a half inch nails or something, rusty, there forever. And what it was where they were, there were wall studs that had uh, tongue and groove boards nailed to them. So you had a nail every th like two and a half, three inches on the stud. And you want to use the stud, you got to get the nails out. And of course, I was using the nails too at that time. I was salvaging the nails. And um, I was wrenching on it and breaking nails off. And uh, a friend of mine showed me a trick that he learned from his father. And that was this right here, where you just tap on the uh, end of the nail. Except, of course, a bigger nail, you would use a hammer. And it breaks it free. What it does is it breaks that bond that has built, uh, developed between the nail and the wood through expansion and, and humidity and all that stuff. And, and these nails sometimes have a little bit of a plastic coating on them that kind of melts when you drive them in. So it breaks that as well. You straighten the nail, the brad, tap it a few times, and then it should pull out cleanly. That's all there is to it. Before I go, I got a couple more things to say about safety. I ranted about that in the last video. And um, the thing about safety is for humans, for everything that's alive actually, safety stops at conception. As soon as that sperm penetrates that egg, safety is out the window. There's no more safety. There's just varying amounts of risk. So you have to live your life with that in mind. You have to have an understanding of that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to function. I've talked about this before. Uh, you can't live in terror of doing this or doing that, you'll get nothing done. Nothing was accomplished. Nothing significant was accomplished by anyone that was afraid. That let fear keep them from doing what needs to be done. And the other thing is, there's this assumption, because I use the table saw the way I do, or the way I ran the dowel through the router, is that that's inherently unsafe and that I need to be more careful. Well, who's more concerned about their fingers than the person that they're attached to? Okay, now if I thought that I was gonna cut my fingers off using the router table like that or the table saw like that, I would do it another way. But I know that Barring an accident, barring some unforeseen thing that can happen regardless of what safety measures you have in place, 
Um, the only safest, like the only safe way to use a tool is to not use it at all. And that goes back to not getting anything done. So barring anything happening, I know that I'm not going to get injured using the tools that I, the way I use them. And if I saw somebody else using the tools in the way that I'm using mine with the competence, the clear and obvious competence, not complacency, not cockiness, but competence doing it like that, I wouldn't have any concerns whatsoever. I watched lots of guys. I mean, I grew up, well, I didn't grow up, but when I really got interested in, in watching and in, in doing woodworking, I was watching Norm Abrams every week using a table saw in exactly the same way. So if you want to argue about using a table saw safely, go argue with him. I mean, he's probably been using a table saw longer than I've been alive. So yeah, seems to have all his fingers still to this day. Courage. Courage is the key to life itself. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So they won't. I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so and so and so. So well, you could have done it. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Man, the bus runs every day. <laughs>